there was two people in particular that, that were regular cast members that happened by accident. And the biggest was Junior Samples. Junior was a, when he was nine years old, he worked in a uh, distillery making moonshine whiskey. When he was 11, he had his own down in, in Georgia. The, uh, he had been locked up or arrested uh, s uh, several times and finally the judge said, Junior, if you continue, there's no more patty cake, no more slapping on the hands. You're going to go to jail. Well, it scared him. And, uh, and so he, he quit. And all, besides that, all he did was fish and tell these outlandish stories. Well, he did one about a fish uh, called the Whopper. And it was recorded in somebody's basement. And he told the story of this fish that he had made up. Well, it was hilarious. It become uh, an underground hit. And uh, so Archie Campbell is the one that had heard it and brought Junior in to maybe be make a one-time appearance. Well, they put the camera on him and everything stopped. They said, this is it. This is the image that we're trying to portray. This country bumpkin. And everybody would say, uh, ask me, says, I gotta ask you something. And I knew what was coming next. Is Junior Samples for real? I said, Hoss, what you see is what you get. He's the only one that I've ever known that came out of the country to the city and not only did not learn, he act actually digressed. He went back in time. But the, the purity of him was what it was all about. After the first season, the first season we were, that summer, we took place of the Smothers Brothers. He Haw was such a smash that the, all the, a lot of the CBS brass came to Nashville, which is, by the way, where we filmed Hee Haw from day one. Um, and they, at the top of the L&M building was a big banquet hall. So the cast of Hee Haw was to go up and meet all of uh, the CBS, I think, but just a lot of the top uh, people, not the president of CBS, but the vice president was there, I remember. We all had a reception line. And as you walked in off of the elevator, they had a great big um, stand-up roast and uh, hors d'oeuvres and, and whatever. Well, here come Junior. Junior was celebrating the end of the uh, first season or at that time, the only season that we knew for sure. And uh, he had on a T-shirt and bib overhauls, and somebody had given him a tuxedo jacket to make him look halfway presentable. Well, Junior had started celebrating, and he was, to say tipsy is stretching the word. And... He, had, he reached over and he grabbed a big slice of this roast and the grease was running down his sleeve and he took a big bite out of it and somebody said, someone go get Junior, run him through the line because he was the talk of the show. Run him through the line and get him out and, uh, of here. So they run him up, broke the line, the receiving line, broke the line up to the to the CBS uh, vice president and said, uh, uh, Junior, this is the vice president. And before anybody could say anything, Junior says, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Agnew. <laughs> <laughs> now that was Junior. He thought he was showing that he had learned something. 